We have some information on the next event coming for Halo Infinite Cyber Showdown. We have dates, content, and new game modes. How's it going, everybody? Kevin here once again, giving you some more Halo news. A bunch of information has been kind of been leaking out recently about the Cyber Showdown event coming around next week, it looks like. So I wanted to give you guys some of that information to prepare you for the next event for Halo Infinite. So if you find this video informative or if you found it entertaining, make sure you tap that like button. It really helps out the channel within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. One of my questions questions and questions I've heard from the community is now that we have some of these new modes permanently in Halo Infinite, what can we expect for new events? Which we had Fiesta return again, well stay I guess for Tenrai, but it looks like Cyber Showdown will have its new event modes as well with Slayer, King of the Hill, One Flag, and CTF as well as probably like one Cyber Showdown playlist. Below you see the Tactical Ops event which would be favoring Tactical Slayer being SWAT, but you have variations with like Commando, Stalker, Sidekicks, and Manglers. One mode I'm surprised doesn't show up on that list is the mode Attrition. We actually saw this mode within the Season 1 multiplayer trailer of Halo Infinite. It is a limited live team Slayer kind of mode where you can actually revive your teammates in a way as well to kind of keep your total number of lives in the match. Last team standing wins the game kind of thing. But the cool thing about this as well is that once you get down to like a 1v1 situation where the game kind of starts taking a little too long, you have like a battle royale like ring that kind of closes in on the map. So then, you know, keep pressing the issue to keep the action up. I fully expect this mode to show up as well because it showcased as season one, but we still haven't seen it yet. Obviously season one's gonna last until May. So as soon as we get some concrete information about attrition showing up guys, I'll let you guys all know on this channel. And with the new event, you know what it comes with? New customization. As you've seen with this little teaser image right here, we have some new like armor attachment kind of cool little things you can add onto your Spartan. That looks pretty freaking awesome. Some of the stuff has already leaked out. I found this bot right here within some of the bot modes and uh, he's rocking some unique coatings you can't find right now as in a coating you can get in the Cyber Showdown event. The cool thing about the Mohawk right here is you can see this is kind of a leaked image, but it lights up. That's pretty freaking cool. And there have been some leaked images about store bundles and battle pass kind of going around the internet guys if you want to find those you definitely can but it looks like possibly within the store of cyber showdown we'll have a new death effect it kind of like cool like digital like wave effect kind of thing a new kind of armor effect where like whatever your action you do you kind of have like this digital purple kind of effect to it as well you also have like this called the neon superfly which is kind of like that coating i showed you guys though i've also seen that coating showcase as part of the battle pass as well now seeing different variations of the battle pass going around saying like it's full of uh challenge swaps and xp which i'm pretty sure 343 would have learned from tenrai to not do that i fully expect this battle pass to kind of mirror more like level 10 and above of the tenrai event uh because 343 i think recognizes that yeah challenge swaps and xp gains aren't exactly content people want to grind for and this event does look to last for two weeks with the first week having the capstone being like a cool kind of like orangey red kind of visor for your ultimate weekly challenge reward and then for the second week having a coating which looks pretty freaking cool kind of like black gray with some bright yellow on it fitting in with that whole cyberpunk kind of aesthetic to the whole event i'm sure slaying all these bad guys out there you'll be spending so much time playing hill you'll be forgetting to eat but if you eat healthy you'll be doing it just right with the thanks of today's sponsor vite ramen vite ramen is a small u.s based company that provides a far more tasty fulfilling and more importantly healthier option than your typical ramen brands in less than three minutes, one packet of Vite Ramen gives you more food than the leading ramen brands, 25% of your daily micronutrients, up to 30 grams of protein, 7 grams of dietary fiber, and most importantly to me, 50% less sodium to help you live a healthier lifestyle. Where the leading brand is really just salt and carbs. Vite Ramen also has vegan plant-based versions as well. My favorite is the Sichuan Chili, as it actually packs a punch of heat along with a filling bowl of ramen. I mean, look at me, isn't that the face of satisfaction right there and why give your money to the corporate overlords we can help out a small business so check out the link in the pinned comment and also in the description of this video to give Vite Ramen a look over and thank you very much Vite Ramen for sponsoring this video this is all great but when are we gonna be able to play this guys well it looks like next week we'll be able to do some cyber showdown event greatness starting on January 18th and running until January 31st 
And I fully expect 343 to have some kind of like cool event trailer being showcased, maybe like the day before the event on Monday morning. But of course, once we get some concrete information about this, guys, I'll make sure to share it right here on the channel as soon as possible. But if you're new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out this place right here. Got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.